So I am doing something I have never done before. I am heading in to the country on a trail I've never been on by myself. And it's probably not a very good idea, but I'm super excited about it. And let's see what happens. Oh man, it is just stunningly beautiful and quiet out here. There's a small river or creek over there. This is without a doubt one of the, I'm gonna stop short of saying scary, but certainly one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever done. Uh, so why am I doing it? Well, that's a great question. So it's kind of a long story and I'll tell you, back in 2017, December, through a series of events, I discovered information that for me, led me to believe that the church I had dedicated my entire life to was not true. And that, as you can imagine, those of you who have been through that before know what a devastatingly brutal thing that is to have happen to you. To those of you who have never been through that before, I would just say, know that it was not something that happened lightly. I was not deceived by anti-Mormon literature. It was not from a lack of study, effort, and prayer until I ultimately came to the conclusion that the church I believed in wasn't true. Anyways, made me realize that I've been living my life in almost a, almost a sleep, in a state of stupor, if you will. And that was really scary for me. I was 42 years old, 41 years old, something like that. And uh, figured at best my life was half over if everything went well. So since then, I have set out to live my life as intentionally as I possibly can and to do things that force me out of my comfort zone. And this is one of those things. So why is this so uncomfortable for me? Well, it's not from a lack of bringing stuff. I have everything I could possibly need for a short trip like this and probably then some. Uh, I'm uncomfortable because it's freaking scary, man. I've never, uh, I've never been out on a solo trip like this and it's all 100% on me. That makes me a little uncomfortable, I won't lie to you. Uh, every step I take on this trail uh, get, gets me farther away from my truck. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. And that's why I'm going to keep going. That's exactly why I'm going to keep going. Well, somehow I lost the trail and I was just wandering around down there for a while trying to find it. It was up here the whole time. So that was a little scary, but I made it back, found the trail, back on the way. Well, it's about 9.15. I'm almost to the top. Not gonna lie, thought I'd be here about an hour ago to watch the sunset. The sun is long gone. It is real dark. And I'm making lots of noise because I don't want to get eaten. Let's hope it works out. Well, if I had got here an hour ago, I would have missed this view. And it's pretty awesome. Plus, I would have missed out on a chance to hike in the dark, which I'm not gonna lie, is a little scary. Especially since I've never been here before. Well, here's why it took so long. 5.5 miles. The map I was looking at said it was about 4.4 miles. So that would explain the extra time. Hey, it was worth it. It is beautiful up here. Can't really see anything, but I'm sure it's beautiful. Oh man, all is well, you guys. I got a fire. I got dinner cooking. A little lasagna with meat sauce. I got the tent set up. Here's everything I brought with me, in case you were wondering. It felt like a lot when I was carrying it on my back. I did bring a tripod, a camera, and a chair, and a battery charger that was way too big. 
So, you know, I brought some stuff I didn't really need. But I, oh, and a drone, which I'm hoping to fly tomorrow. So yeah, hey, I made it. I'm safe, I'm alive. It's gonna be a beautiful night, I'm stoked. Oh man, what a night. I felt like I hardly slept at all and then I also slept. Like I felt like I was awake all night long, but then there are large chunks that I don't remember. Uh, I know I got cold, um, which is weird. I must be doing something wrong with my quilt or I'm just not a quilt guy. Maybe I'm a sleeping bag guy. I don't know, I was cold. Uh, a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know if that was from the pad or the just the hard hike last night or what. But uh, anyways, I'm up. About to have a little mountain house uh, biscuits and gravy. All right. I know this is not going to show up on the video at all, but about, uh, I don't know, 300 yards away. Right through those trees. There's a bear. Awesome. He's just having a little breakfast. Having a great morning. Beautiful. Well, got off on the morning. It's a beautiful morning, perfect. A little slight breeze keeping me cool. Cannot complain, except for I'm on a trail, but I'm not on the trail. So, gotta backtrack a little bit. Here we go, got my hat on, got my shades on. Trekking poles, locked and loaded for a long day. Even longer now. All right, so I found the trail again. I think subconsciously, I was like, I don't wanna go in there stay out there where it's clear and there's wildflowers and it's beautiful and this way is dark and snowy and trees oh well all right not gonna lie that was a little sketchy coming through there couldn't see the trail at all it was covered in snow but i'm on the other side and things are looking good Well, I got a bit of a conundrum here. I'm in a lot of snow. It's not cold, it's actually the weather's perfect. I got my shorts on. Just, I can't find the trail. I'm going incredibly slow. I'm gonna have the trail downloaded on my map, but I don't know, it's just thick. I gotta go that way. You can see how thick it is. I know it opens up, but I can get through there. I just don't know if when it opens up, is there gonna be more snow? And it's just such slow going. I'm gonna go a little bit farther and see. I might end up having to turn around, which would be a real bummer. Well, there's the top right up there, but it's gonna be snow the whole way. It just came through. You can't see it, but it just came through a nasty patch of snow. And it's a miracle I didn't hurt myself. I think I'm gonna have to turn around, which is too bad. I'm in over eight miles. It was supposed to be about a 16 mile loop, so. I'm getting my 16 miles in irregardless, but I think this is it. This is about as far as I'm gonna make it, but I accomplished everything I wanted. To. Well, not everything. I wanted to get up there. There's a fire lookout up there I wanted to go see. But I saw a bear, I found some good glassing spots. I uh, did some good scouting for hunting season in the, in the fall. It's time to see if I can't get out of here without hurting myself. So you can see all that snow over there. Pretty sure if I had kept going, I would have gone up and around and I would have had to go over the top of that as well. So I think just a little too much snow right now. Walking through this stuff sucks. So slow, so hard. You never know when you're gonna sink down to your hip into the snow. And it's hard. All right, now this is my last snow field. If I can get through this, it'll be smooth sailing the rest of the way home. Still be about five, six miles, but it'll be flat or downhill almost the whole way. So wish me luck. Oh, I made it. 
that snow was not letting me out without a fight. But no more snow patches from here. Where I camped is just on the other side of those trees right there. And then it's smooth sailing. If this is what this whole place looks like, once all the snow melts, I cannot wait to come back here later in the summer. It's gonna be amazing. So right here's where I got lost last night. The trail comes up right here on this water. It's actually beautiful. I was taking a video of it, which is probably why I didn't realize that the trail basically wraps around right there. And there it is up there. It's just a big cutback. I came across, got right here, and I thought, well, the trail must go straight. Must just be on the other side of all these logs. And I don't know, I went, I didn't go in super far, but it is so thick. I mean, I probably spent a half hour to go a quarter mile to ultimately just end up right back there where I almost was. This beauty right here, this is my last piece of food. Good news is I packed my food perfectly because I didn't have any extra. Bad news is, is if something had happened, I didn't have any extra. Gonna have to think about that. See all those butterflies right there? There's, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five of them. I just came around the corner and there was like a hundred of them on the ground and I walked into them and they all fluttered up around me. It was like I was in a movie. It was pretty cool. Oh yeah, I made it. Over 13 miles today, four to five miles yesterday. Woo! Here's the beautiful bridge. Well, I made it. It was a heck of a journey. Uh, now that it's done, I'm not gonna lie to you. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was. Uh, hiking in the dark, going on a trail I'd never been on before. One of the things I thought a lot about was, should I have picked a more well-traveled trail or a more established trail? And I'm glad I didn't. Uh, I didn't really see anybody. I didn't see anybody at all this morning or last night until basically I was almost back to the car. I saw a couple of people just doing day hikes. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, how, how crazy is that? I was uh, super nervous, very uncomfortable, a little very scared at times, and uh, it was awesome. I loved it. Uh, I'm tired, I'm hungry, my back hurts, my feet hurt, my feet really hurt. Um, I'm sore, I can't wait to eat, uh, and I can't wait to do it again. I'll see you next weekend. I was feeling super dirty, super sweaty, kind of gross. So I just jumped into this lake or river right here and then changed into my extra clothes I left in the car. Ah, oh, feels so much better. <laughs>